So I've had quite a few people recently tell me that I'm turning into Josh Fluke. And it's funny because I've been a fan of his channel since way back when I like first got into programming. And I've watched his content from when he started talking about, you know, getting a job as a developer and trying to do basically what I started on this channel with and help people with getting programming jobs and whatnot. And I've watched him evolve into the corporate cringe guy and, and all that. And when I get comments like, hey, don't don't be a negative Nancy like Josh Fluke. And when I get comments that say, hey, you're becoming Josh Fluke and it's not cool. That's not what I signed up for. I find it really interesting that people would prefer to hear a happy little lie than the inconvenient truth. And the truth is that Josh Fluke is correct about almost everything he says in his videos. His corporate cringe stuff is on point. Him talking about how companies don't care about you is on point. Him talking about LinkedIn cringe is also on point. I don't go on LinkedIn too often because of how cringy it is and I can't stand all that fake and forced positivity that's on there. I would say tech Twitter is pretty much equally as bad when it comes to that kind of stuff. Maybe not as bad as LinkedIn, but it's definitely on par or pretty close. And another thing that he talks about that I have to agree with is how boring programming jobs are. Uh, I know that maybe he didn't talk too much about that stuff, but I did watch a video where he mentioned why he doesn't code and that coding's a tool and programming's a tool and it's not really fun for him. And I have to agree because I feel the same way. And one of the big reasons why I wanted to stop making coding content apart from feeling like I was exploiting the viewers just to try to make a buck by giving them the stuff that they wanted to hear, I was getting kind of bored of talking about coding all the time. I work eight hours a day programming and I originally didn't wanna do actual coding content because I didn't wanna to have to code on my free time for my YouTube channel. But funny enough, even just talking about programming gets boring after a while. And the reason why I wanted to make this video, because so many people have mentioned Josh Fluke, I see in my analytics that people who watch his channel watch my channel, and I wanna say that there's a reason why he talks about all that stuff, and there's a reason why programmers burn out so much, and there's a reason why I changed my content and decided to start doing my own thing and not talk about programming. It's because after a while, this stuff gets really boring and there's plenty of people on YouTube and Twitter and LinkedIn and all these different social media platforms. And they try to make it look like it's the best job ever. And the truth is that it's not all that great. It's just a job. It's a nine to five. You sit at a desk all day and you bang your head against a keyboard over and over day in and day out just to get a paycheck. And I'm tired of so many people, including myself, trying to make this look like it's something that it's not. In order to get views, in order to get clicks, in order to get likes, in order to get a following, many people that start these channels, myself included, and I'm calling myself out here, whoever else is doing it and thinks I'm calling them out, I'm not. I'm calling myself out and if you're doing it, well, if the shoe fits, wear it, right? And that's why I decided to change. And when some of my stuff isn't happy and motivational and rainbows and butterflies, it's because this job isn't happy and rainbows and butterflies all the time. Sure, there's some good perks to it. Sure, there's some flexibility because you can work remotely if you get a job that allows you to re work remotely. The, the pay is good, the benefits are good, and there are good things to this job. But at the end of the day, it's still a job. So when you see people like Josh and people like me who have worked in the industry and we start talking about the ugly parts of this job, it's not because we're trying to be negative. We're trying to be real. We're trying to be honest and we're trying to not make a dollar off of you by selling you some pipe dream. At least that's me speaking for myself. I know that, that I can't speak for other people, but speaking personally, that's why I decided to change my content. That's why the last few videos that were programming related weren't happy motivational videos. It was me trying to be honest with you. I really thought that I was being honest with myself when I created this channel and I always wanted to give my real honest opinion and experiences, but I realized that so many people were really enjoying that fake motivational learn to code guru stuff that I, I started to become that person and that person is not me. And when, when you see these new videos that I'm making that are completely off topic, that I'm actually being more myself, I'm talking like I usually talk, I'm dropping F-bombs because I don't care about the ad revenue anymore, I'm being genuine now and I'm enjoying my content. This last video that I made with the ASMR cringe stuff, it's my worst performing video. 
and I had the best time making that video. It actually made me start enjoying YouTube again. And I know that this is kind of getting off topic, but it just goes to show you that people fall into this trap of trying to give you what you want to hear because that's what keeps you going on YouTube. Because if you start losing views, if you start talking about stuff that your audience doesn't want to hear, then you become irrelevant, then you don't get as many views, you don't make as much money in AdSense. And the truth is that that's what was happening. I, I was just talking about the same thing over and over to try to get more views. And I tried to improve my learn to code videos to to see if that would help. And I realized that the problem wasn't the content and the topic itself. It was me not wanting to do that type of content anymore. And I know there's a lot of people being supportive with my recent videos saying that they really enjoyed it. And I know there's a lot of people that are unsubscribing and not happy with what I'm making because it's not what they signed up for. I don't mind if people leave, I get it. I understood that that was gonna be part of this process but I wanna be happy doing what I'm doing. And the truth is that I started a YouTube channel because I didn't see myself working as a programmer for the rest of my life. And I wanted to try different things that could bring me different possibilities with money and opportunities. And that's why I started a YouTube channel. And the thought of me having to keep making that programming content that kind of preys on people who are trying to make their lives better felt wrong and I felt like it wasn't what I wanted to do. So yes, I agree with everything Josh says. And no, I'm not trying to turn into Josh, but it's just the reality of this industry. And there's a lot of truth and honesty behind what he says. I don't know Josh, I've only watched him and I'm just a fan. I'm not trying to break my arm jerking him off. And I don't really understand why people get so upset with his content because it's genuine. And even though he's probably trying to get views with his corporate cringe stuff and it's kind of his niche now, it doesn't mean that that stuff's not true. It's probably more honest than him trying to make videos to teach you how to learn to code because he probably enjoys making that content more, just like I'm enjoying making my new content more. If you don't like people being honest with you and if you take it as negativity when it really is just them trying to be real and giving you a look of what this job is really like and what working for corporations are like, whatever, keep living in your bubble. I get it. If you don't want, if you don't want to hear the negativity because you have goals of becoming a programmer, that's great. But I wish that there was more of that type of content when I went into this because I would have been better prepared for it when I did become a programmer. Because now after doing this for five years, it's starting to wear on me. Burnout is real and this job is not as glamorous as everybody makes it out to be. With all that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and I'll see you next time.